everybody, J and A Review, and today we are at Triple H RV here in Haleyville, Alabama. If you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us that thumbs up. Today, oh, we got a good one. Today we're going to be looking at a 2024 Keystone Alpine Avalanche Edition, model number 390DS. And before we get started with the video, today we've got a special, special guest. I want you to make welcome Amy. Amy is going to help us out on the inside. I think you said you're going to do a little better job than I do. Yes. Okay, so we're going to get started with the video. The length on this Alpine uh, Avalanche Edition is 42 feet, 11 inches. The dry weight is 14,258 pounds, and that hitch weight is 2,740. How mercy. This is a great one if you like to um, take a large family with you or take several friends. But let's start right up here at the front. We'll show you all of this outside storage. You have a really nice big compartment here. You can add um, a generator to this if you would like. Your hydraulic system is all gonna be over here. We're gonna move around to the side. You have got two 30 pound propane tanks right here. Here is one side of your pass-through storage. Your water connections are gonna be right next to that and your tank pools are also in here. This is going to have a tankless water heater. And let's see if we can find the dumps. Let's see, one's gonna be right under here. You do have a hose caddy for on this one. We'll go right on down real quick. Oop, looks like they're doing some cleaning on this one. Your other dump area is down here. Coming around to the back, you see that this is gonna have an exit here at the back. Uh, you do have a ladder already in place and it is prepped for a backup camera. Coming on around to your campsite, we are gonna have two awnings on this one. Um, Keystone does not give us links on this one, so we're not really that. sure. Probably this at least 10 feet. It, this one looks to be at least 10 feet and probably 12, 13 on that yeah, one. Yeah, or, or more. 15, 16, I was thinking. Yes. But, you know. So these are going to be power awnings, and you are going to have LED light strips in both of them. Finishing out your outside storage here is the other side of your pass through, and your batteries are going to mount right here. This is going to have six point hydraulic leveling on it. So that is a great feature. Do you have your outside speakers and they also give you an outside plug in if you want to bring a TV out. Are there connections under here? Um, yes, yeah, TV connections up. are going to be yeah, up, up here. So yeah. you can add an outside TV. All right, let's go inside and we're going to break in our friend Amy and let her do her debut here. So uh, this is going to be a dual suite model, but we'll start right here in the living area and we'll just start with this entertainment center. Got a nice big TV in place. There are uh, storage up above it. Down below you do have a little storage cubby there and you've got an electric fireplace for those cooler mornings. This also is gonna give you a JBL uh, radio and sound system. Uh, we had the fan on, I'm gonna try not to make you dizzy, but there are speakers up here um, in the ceiling. I'm out of breath because this one was big to walk around. <laughs> Moving into the kitchen, uh, we're gonna show you these storage up here. Um, you've got storage above the microwave and there's a good cabinet space right next to it. This is gonna have solid surface countertops in here. Uh, down below, um, well, you're Okay, yeah. we'll, do, we'll do the iron. <laughs> Amy's being very quiet, which is unusual because she's never I quiet. I you want me to talk, okay? Yes, yeah, so in the island, you've got these huge like drawers down here. Yeah, um, you've got lots of pots and pans in there. Okay. So. And here you're going to have uh, dual garbage containers. Which is awesome. Very awesome. Storage here under your sink. Um, this nice island, you've got this high-rise faucet. Your sink is going to be a 60-40 split. So, very nice sink. And I don't think I've ever seen one that actually had 
three covers. So that's very, very interesting. Put your under space. And while she is putting that back in, I will show you that it does have a three burner cooktop here and their oven and a nice matching drawer below it. Very nice. Oh, I think we may have missed these cabinets over here. Uh, yes. Um, yes, very good storage. You can get all your pots and pans in there. And um, that could also act as your uh, pantry because there's not really a designated pantry in here. Sure. You are going to have a huge refrigerator, uh, French door Too style, short. and your freezer on, down below. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, I love that it has the ice tray in there. Super nice. I love the fridge. It's going to be a wine rack. Um, at one point, I would have said that would have been Diet Mountain Dews, but believe it or not, I have given those up. Yeah. So all my water bottles will go up there. <laughs> Over here, you're going to have a nice coffee bar area. Great storage up above. Um, almost tall storage. Yes. So there is a plug-in right up there. They give you two plug-ins on each side of this. Great storage down below. Uh, your fuses are gonna be down there. Um, multiple drawers. So actually this is just a, a great counter space to use um, taco bar, pizza bar, ice cream bar. Yeah. All the things. Uh, yes, all the things over there. Backing up, let's show you this front slide here. Nice big windows. You do have the slow rise blackout shades mm -hmm. here. All of these windows are gonna open for airflow. Your freestanding table has got four chairs, so you can pull that extension out there and have extra room. You'll see that there's no leg underneath, so you won't hit your knees under it. This awesome recliners here this is going to be directly in front of your tv you see you've got storage there are cup holders you do have usb um heat and massage and a light under it so you can see you've got some accent lighting underneath okay well looks like jeremy is going to show you guys the loft up here yay so if we can figure out how to hand this off i'll let him tell you about the loft all right of course you've got an air conditioner up here you do have uh yes tv controls or hookups are right there not real sure where you're going to mount the thing but wow this is pretty sharp up here extra AC up there? yes wow that's pretty nice all right so if i can hand it off now there you go and uh, in case you could not hear, there is an, a second AC up there. So, hey, the ones up in the loft are going to get some great cooling. Yes. All right, let's take a look at this suite down here. So you've got a step down. This is going to have a queen size bed that is in a slide. So you have this nice padded si uh, headboard. There are some lights up there. Uh, we don't have those on, but anyway. Yes, the same blackout shades here. These windows do open. They also give you uh, little nightstands on both sides. And if you'll notice that there is a plug-in under each one. Now I'm going to step up here and turn around so we can see the wardrobe area. Is there a hanging? Yes. Yes. Rack. Yes, there is a hanging rod. And then you've got cabinets below that. A net. Yeah. Shoes so they don't get sliding. That is wonderful. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, next to that, you're going to have a little dresser with three drawers in it. <laughs> yeah, they're a little hard to open sometimes. And then again, the same storage right over here. In. Yeah, and if you'll see, the hanging goes in that direction. Mm -hmm. Now, your TV connections are going to be right up above your window. So if you want to add an extra TV in here, you can do that. And this one is going to feature a second full bath. So, right over here is going to be your sink and vanity area. There is medicine cabinet on both sides, actually. Ooh, very nice. You do have a plug-in down here. There, you already have a garbage can in place. There's a nice little drawer for some storage. 
storage underneath. Now it's a little tight in here right now because your uh, steps are in the up position, but you will move those once you get to your campsite. Your foot flush toilet is actually in a good area once you get your seat uh, steps down. All right, who's doing the shower tails? We may have to do a comparison in this one. I will, okay. Okay. So short person. <laughs> so, if you have... Lots of room. Yes. Um, actually, if this is your kid's second bath, mm -hmm. this is going to be a great shower for them. Uh, there's no skylight up above it, so um, if you're taller, like six feet or so, you know, you may you may actually be touching the ceiling. Yes, but, I'm five three. but there's, there's, there's a pretty big step up in it, so that kind of takes away from your ceiling height. Now, back here, your heating vents are in the floor. But again, just, just for comparison, you guys know by now that Jeremy's <laughs> six feet tall, so. I think y'all like doing this to me. <laughs> exactly. So, okay. but it is, it is gonna be a great shower for kids. Uh, and I do wanna point out something. This is the air conditioner vent. Yes. That is ducted from the loft down. Right, because your unit is actually in the yes. loft, so you do have a vent down here. All right, let's go to the other end and let's finish out this nice Alpine Avalanche edition. Your controls are going to be up here and they're covered um, by this little glass door. Coming into the second bathroom, we're going to have a much larger shower in this one. Um, nice encore, one piece shower. And there is a skylight above it. Yay. So taller people won't have any issues with this one. Your medicine cabinet is going to be right next to your mirror. Very good vanity area. Three drawers. Three nice drawers. And storage underneath. Yes. And your foot flush toilet is angled at a really, really good spot. So you have all this leg room around it. And, oh, they put a bungee on this one. Does this work? <laughs> I'm new to this. Yeah, so your linen closet oh. is just awesome. It's going to pull out. You have these nice little, um, whatever those rails are to keep stuff from moving. Oh, yes. Bungees. I was not expecting that. And toilet paper. Your tissue holder. Hey, this is new. Okay, they have not Love been doing that. this. So you have this extremely long drawer. Your Tree tissue port. actually goes here. And look, Bells. there is a slot there for it. That's genius. That is new. I really like that. Oh, and your pull out waste, waste basket. Wow, super nice. Okay, well this is going to have two entries. So there is a sliding door that goes into the bedroom and I'm going to come through the hall here. Now to finish it out, you're going to have I feel like our lights are not on in here. Oh, they are. they're on a dimmer. Oh, there yes, we go. Dimmer, yes. I turned them down. Uh, king size bed on a slide. Again, you have another padded headboard up here with windows on both sides that That's open. Shiny. Yes, love these blackout roller shades. You're gonna have little nightstands on both sides, and again, that there is a plug-in under each one. And like a phone shelf. Look. Yes. This is gonna have a second AC in here. This is three. Yes, so this particular unit is going to have three AC units. Yeah. Here you have um, a, a convertible closet, really. You can use it for hanging. You can use it as a shelf. You can take this out, and it is prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. Oh. Okay. I have too many people in here. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath the bed, you do have great storage under here. Great for stashing those extra blankets and pillows. And this will also give you a chance to see just exactly how much floor space you have. So actually really good floor space in here. You have this huge sliding mirrored um, closet at the front. How does it open? Uh, it should just pull. pull. Well. Does not. Okay. We're gonna have assistance. Oh, I don't know how to this. Uh, it's equipped. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you have this really Light. huge. Yes. It's uh. Under there and up there. Oh, there's two oh, lights. There's lights. Yeah. So. That's a lot of lights. A shelf up here. Outlet. In the closet. Hanging. And yeah. So, um, I guess if you want to have a stick back or something like that that charges, you've got a place to put it in here. And finishing out. 
the bedroom. You have a dresser here at the foot of the bed with six good sized drawers wow. in it. And if you want to add a TV back here, it's gonna go right up above your window. All right, have we covered everything? Cause I this one's so. a, this is a big one. There was a lot to look at. All right. All right, everybody. If you like this uh, avalanche, uh, Alpine avalanche edition, the dealership's information will be down in our description. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, give it that thumbs up, and leave a comment if you like the Hamie on our videos. <laughs> First time ever. Hey, she may be on some more, so y'all leave a comment and she'll get to see those. Thanks, everybody. Bye.